uh, welcome to watch the video how to identify the shortest path from uh, one node to all other nodes okay so now uh, from uh, the node c we have to identify the shortest path to all nodes okay we start from step 1 first we have to initialize the distance table for node c we have to initialize the distance table that consists of node cost and the previous node okay so what are the nodes that are available here a b c d and e okay so we are calculating for node c so we have written the node c first then a b d and e okay then the cost column so from uh, c to c there will be no cost cost means the distance between them okay so it is zero so the previous node is also dash okay we don't know the distance uh, from c to all other nodes so we keep it um, keep it as infinity at the initial step okay and for the previous node we put a hyphen for all nodes okay now come to step 2 okay now we have to update the directly connected nodes so for c here what are all the directly connected nodes e a and d okay so c to a c to d and c to e okay we should mark this and make the cost between these nodes okay so this is step 2 so among the nodes you have to return and the cost okay now we know the cost between c to a that is 3 okay c to a that is 3 and c to d that is 1 and c to e that is 2 okay and the previous node has been marked as c c and c okay because we are calculating from c only okay now the remaining nodes which we haven't identified is the b the node number b still we haven't identified because it is not directly connected to c okay it is far away from c so we have to identify which is the shortest path for that c to b okay now we have to pick the node with the smallest cost node okay so among them which one is the smallest cost node and make the path to b now the smallest cost node is d okay because here it is 1 here 2 and 3 the distance so among these three distance this one is the shortest and minimum distance so we are taking this node okay because this is the smallest distance and we have to update the neighbors okay whenever we go along with this d to b means we are getting a total cost of 16 which is a high distance okay and instead of that c to d and d to e if you are moving also it becomes 11 okay so that is also a high cost so we move with the next neighbor so the next neighbor is e okay because this is the shortest distance so when e e through b means now we are getting the total cost of 2 plus 5 7 okay so 2 plus 5 7 so we are connecting c to b in between e is there okay so we should travel from c to e first and from e to b okay so here it is 2 and here it is 5 so a total cost of 7 okay that's what it is mentioned here and what is the previous node for this e that's why it is mentioned here okay now we have to check with the last neighbor also okay so the next neighbor that is the connecting to that c the directly connected to that c is a okay so it is of 3 the cost of that is 3 so from 3 we have to identify whether we will reach b in a less cost that we have to identify so whenever we are moving with the node of a means we are reaching b with the distance of 3 plus 1 okay so that is 4 okay whenever we are moving along with the a means we have the cost of 4 only which is much better than this e whenever we are moving through e means we are getting 7 but through a means we are getting 4 only okay so c to a okay c to a and the from a to b okay so we are getting 3 here and 1 here so the total cost is 4 okay now we have to look whether this is the updated and the shortest path from c to all other nodes okay this is the minimum distance from c to all other nodes then we have the final step so this is the routing table for this node c okay so this is the destination from c to all other nodes c to a d d and e okay so what will be the next half so it is uh, so c that is directly connected to a so the distance minimum distance is 3 and uh, for b okay it moves along through a so the minimum distance is 4 and for d it is directly connected so it is 1 
and E that is also directly connected here that is 2 ok by this way we can find the shortest path from one node to all other nodes ok thank you for watching the video